Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Monday. You know what time it is. It's tea time. And this week in my collection, Devnol. Devnol was a three-piece heavy alternative band from Morgantown, West Virginia back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s. It consisted of my friends Dave Krovich on guitar, Dan Raul Rollins on bass, and Todd Moser on drums. The shirt that I have in my collection for these guys is kind of bittersweet. Our friend Raul had passed away in 2000 from uh, congestive heart failure, and I had these shirts made up uh, in his honor for a bunch of our friends. As far as I know, this was the only shirts that they ever had. Just their simple Devnol logo on the front of it. Um, they're a bunch of computer geeks, so that's where the name came from. And then uh, on the back, uh, his name, the year he was born. Uh, I had quite a few of these made up. I just picked these shirts up at like Gabe's or something and I found a screen printing place and went and had them done up. In the time they were around, they played a bunch of shows, but they never really had anything to put out uh, except for like a four song EP that they had done. And I'm not even sure if you can find that online anywhere. I still kind of have a little something stuck in my craw because uh, the first band I was in uh, called Program back in the early 90s, Raul played bass in that band with me as well. And I found it funny when I got the EP uh, they had taken a guitar riff and a bass riff that we wrote in program and kind of reworked it into one of their own songs. And I still kind of give Dave crap for that to this day. It was still a little flattering though to know that uh, they had taken one of our riffs and put their own spin on it. So it was kind of cool. Dave's still been in a bunch of bands over the years. Uh, he formed One Foot in the Gravy. Uh, that's actually, I played with them for a while. That's how I learned to play drums. Uh, Dave was reforming that band at one point and I said, hey, I'll come play bass. And he said, no, you can play drums. And I was like, okay, so that's how I learned how to play drums. After that, he's had other side projects. Uh, he's done Almost Helen. He also used to do a one-man Gaga for Gaga, uh, Lady Gaga tribute show by himself, including costumes, minus the meat suit, though. And he was also in the Stonewall Jackson 5. Todd moved away quite some years ago, so I haven't seen or heard from him much. Uh, every now and then, I'll get tagged in a Facebook post saying he's coming to town and we all need to get together and go have a drink. Together and separately, they were all a great bunch of guys and uh, they were a lot of fun to go see live. And I've had a lot of good times and a lot of good memories seeing them play and hanging out with everybody over the years. That's a quick one for this week, guys, so thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll catch you next Monday with another one. Until then, take it easy.